Hi to everyone, your Power Al here with another vlog. So today, it was actually pretty hot out. I think temperatures reached all the way up to 30 degrees where I live. And I always need to feel the need to point this out, but I, uh, I go by Celsius. So um, it's always something that confuses people I know in real life because everyone here living in the US pretty much uses Fahrenheit, but I use Celsius, so. Um, anyways, yeah, today's been pretty hot, so it's been, uh, it's definitely been an air conditioning kind of day, and I'm, I'm still really glad that I have it set up, but um, other than that, today, earlier, I actually went and saw Jurassic World Dominion, I think, is the third movie's subtitle. It's the third Jurassic World movie. And um, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I think is the second one. So my memory has been a little bit fuzzy, but watching this, I very much enjoyed it. Now, um, I do have a confession to make. I have not fully seen any of the Jurassic Park movies. So I know characters from those movies show up in this movie, like a Jeff Goldblum's character and the other two. <laughs> um, Jeff Goldblum plays Ian Malcolm, I think. And then there's Alan Grant and Ellie, whatever her last name is. I don't know. But um, they, they were um, a pretty big part of this movie. And honestly, they felt more like main characters of this movie than the actual main characters did, but um, without spoiling things too much, Jurassic World, or Jurassic World Dominion, um, it feels like this movie had uh, two separate storylines, if that makes sense. One focusing on the Jurassic Park characters, and then the other focusing on the Jurassic World characters, and then they eventually converge. But um, overall, I think I liked the story that was following the Jurassic Park characters. I'm not gonna like go into things too much, but yeah. Also, what felt really weird is that the dinosaurs didn't feel as important as they did in the other Jurassic World movies, if that makes any sense. Now again, I haven't seen Jurassic Park, but it's actually something that I really, really wanna do now after uh, watching through the Jurassic World movies, especially because I know the Jurassic Park movies, I, th I think just especially one is one that a lot of people really like. So strangely enough, actually, um, we did have a VCR tape of the first Jurassic Park movie when I was a kid. It's just I never watched it. I think my parents got that at some point. I don't know, but um, yeah. The movie overall was pretty enjoyable, I would say. Um, I know before, I was talking to Matt um, like a few days ago, and he said um, that the Jurassic World movies feel more like action movies with dinosaurs in them compared to, um, to the genre that the Jurassic Park movies are. So I kept that in mind. And... Um, yeah, that's really it. Now, in terms of which of the Jurassic World movies I like more, I don't really know. I think I like the first Jurassic World movie the most. And this would probably be the second, and then the second uh, Jurassic World movie would probably be the third. And, of course, I can't, like, put the Jurassic Park movies in this, I guess, ranking, because I haven't seen them yet, but... Um, yeah, overall, again, I really enjoyed it. So, I guess now all that's left to do is to watch the Jurassic Park movies at some point. Anyways, now that I'm home and relaxing, I'm actually about to watch the um, the most recent episode of Spy X Family, or Spy Family, and I know that this is unrelated to the topic of Jurassic World, but uh, the season finale came out today, so that's neat. I think season two is supposed to come out in the fall, 
but I really enjoyed that anime. Again, it's not related to Jurassic World at all, but I, I just wanted to point that out. So, um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time for another vlog. Later.